Hello and welcome to Totally Trendy. My name is Samantha and this is a place where I attempt various trends. Do you like the star that I tried to draw on this pillow? I don't. Did not turn out all that well, but that's okay. We're just gonna... Yeah, okay. Samantha, why are you wearing a Mickey Mouse sweater? Well, thanks for asking. No one who was wondering that. It is because today's video is Disney themed and I am very, very, very excited about that fact. Today, I will be surprising some of my coworkers with food from their favorite Disney movies. We have all seen the trying Disney food trend all over the internet and I wanted to surprise my coworkers with it. So, I am going to go around and ask some coworkers what their favorite Disney movie is and then make food from that Disney movie and surprise them with it later in this video. But I am going to make one for myself as well. My favorite Disney movie, hold that thought, one of my favorite Disney movies is Beauty and the Beast. And one thing that all fans of Beauty and the Beast have always wanted to try is the gray stuff. Try the gray stuff. It's delicious. Thankfully, I am making some today. Now, let's go ask some other coworkers what their favorite Disney movies are so we can make some Disney-inspired food for them as well. <laughs> really Who has good. the better new glasses? Me or Gunner? I think I, uh, I think I win. I'm gonna let them vote up in the poll below. Up in the uh, poll below! I can't talk. What's up, Sam? What do you want? I came to ask you guys a question. Okay. Just doing a little survey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Disney movie. What's Ooh. your favorite? Favorite Disney oh, movie. This can so be hard. as obscure as you want it to be. Oh, okay. See, there's just... Gunnar, you just... Well, well no, I do have one, computer. though. Oh, okay, oh, okay, what is it? It's not the greatest movie, but objectively, it's but... Your... Pinocchio. Yeah, it's such yeah. a creepy yeah. film that I kind of like it. Patrick. Oh, wow. There's so many good Disney movies. Have you ever seen Emperor's New Groove? Yes! I love Emperor's New Groove. 100% Croc is one of the best Disney characters ever. Why do you need to... Oh, I'm just Are you just, just taking asking. a survey? Nothing suspicious. Please. Thanks, guys. Patrick said that his favorite Disney movie was Emperor's New Groove, which is a classic. I agree, it's pretty underrated, but Croc is hysterical and a scene stealer, especially in this scene where he fears that his spinach puffs are burning. Is something burning? <laughs> My spinach puffs. So that is what we are going to be making today. I feel like because he said he loves Kronk, he's going to get it. So I'm super excited. I've seen numerous different recipes for this, so I'm kind of combining a lot of them together. It's going to be really simple. Let's just get started with these spinach puffs. All right, so here is just about everything we are going to need for this spinach puff deal. What's going to be inside of the spinach puffs is, of course, spinach, feta cheese, a little bit of cream cheese in there as well, one egg in there as well to give it like a better consistency garlic and onion I'm just gonna make two one for Pat and one for myself because of course I'm gonna try this as well maybe this isn't gonna be the most professional thing to do but I'm gonna go ahead and mix it all up like in the bowl that the spinach is in this was frozen chopped spinach I'm a little bit lazy like that, but we thought it. So now we're gonna add in some feta cheese. This one recipe said like half a cup, but obviously that would be overkill with this. I haven't rewatched The Emperor's New Groove in such a long time. And then just to make it a little bit creamier, I am gonna add a little bit of cream cheese because I feel like that would taste really good. So now we're gonna chop up some garlic. I'm just gonna start chopping it up and see what happens. Do I know how to cut garlic? No. Wow, it seriously smells so good in here. I'm not trying to convince anyone that I really know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to surprise my friends with food from their favorite Disney movies, okay? And now it is just time for a little onion. Now, I don't love onions, but I know that they do have really good flavor. So I will put this in. Oh, don't cry. Don't cry, Sam. Don't cry. Okay, so now that I'm crying. We have all of those flavor components now in here. Now, just to add a new kind of consistency to this, I am gonna beat one egg into it. That'll just give it a really nice texture for baking. I want to eat this right now. We have our mixture now. This is where you would typically use puff pastry, like sheets. I only have this croissant roll because I ordered some from Walmart and they were out of stock, so they didn't send me any, so I had to run to Walmart. And this was the closest thing I could find, but I think that'll be really good for these spinach puffs. So let's lay these out and then we'll fill them. It's time to open these up and this always scares me, so let's see how this goes. Just so suspenseful. Okay, there we go. Okay. Mm. 
So here we have two little spinach puffs. So let's put these in the oven and see how they turn out. Friends, it is time to give Patrick his spinach puffs. Yes, it is a new day. I just had to let a few more things set last night and wanted to get his reaction this morning and also give him like a little breakfast slash brunch treat. So let's go do that. Hey Patrick, how's your morning going? It's fine, what? So remember how yesterday I asked you what your favorite Disney movie was? Yeah. Pull the lever, crunk! Oh my gosh, and is this what he- And they finish fast! <laughs> this is the thing. <laughs> You know how he's like, yeah. my spinach puffs. I cannot do a good yeah. crunk impression. It I haven't tried it yet. It smells so good. Hold on. That's really good. Yeah? Oh, it's nice and warm. It's really fluffy. Mm -mm. <laughs> you just ate like half mm. of that one go. That's, That's good. Really good. What the heck? Can you make me like breakfast all the time? I'm just going to chill eating this. Like, wow. You can leave. I don't even care. So good. <laughs> so good. Well, it's working hard. Uh, so I have a very important question. I don't like when you come in the office and close the door <laughs> I like know. that. What's up? I'm, I'm doing a, a brief little survey, just wanting to know what everyone's favorite Disney movie is. Harmless, fun uh -huh. little question. Can't trust you after all the pranks you've pulled on me. I know. Favorite Disney movie, I really like Alice in Wonderland. Oh cute, see that's another obscure one. Yes, that, like, I like all the obscure ones. Cause um, you're artsy, you're cool. Okay, they know. Alice in Wonderland, mm -hmm. James and Giant Peach. Those are okay, cool. probably the top two. That is all the information I need needed. The movie that CJ said that stuck out the most to me was Alice in Wonderland. And anytime I think of Alice in Wonderland, I think of the little eat me cookies. So we are making those cookies. I already cooked up some sugar cookies. You will see in this photo here that there are some that are circular, some square, normal, whatever. And so I tried to put a star in the oven and it didn't really work out. But when in doubt, I think I can just cut this, right? I don't know. We'll see. If this works, I'm just going to I lose my mind. Oh my gosh, guys, I really think this is gonna work. So what I've learned from this video so far is that I'm very bad at drawing stars that I have not traced. That was me just trying to cut out a star. Yikes, but we're getting there, I think. I'm gonna be very honest with you guys, these cookies are not turning out the best. It's truly just because icing with cooking icing is like kind of hard. So I'm just gonna try and make three good ones that are good enough to present to CJ and hope that he still accepts them for what they are. It is time to give CJ these cookies. I think the try me one is cute but honestly a little disappointed with how the others turned out but I think he's still gonna appreciate it so let's just close that up and give him a little Alice in Wonderland moment hey CJ I have a little treat for you okay what is this you know how I asked everyone what their favorite Disney movie was yes well this is just a little treat for you open it up always skeptical this isn't a bad one I promise it's not gonna jump out at you. It's nice. Oh, are these from Alice in Wonderland? Yes, see, Disney. Is it edible? Yes, it's edible. Little known fact, I always break my cookies in half before I eat them. Why do you do that? More middle bites. That's actually really good. It's well, really there, good. there's your Disney childhood fulfillment. I don't feel satisfied with myself, but it's okay. I am currently making the gray stuff. I have already made both of the puddings, and right now it's time to blend up some Oreos. There are a lot of recipes online for the gray stuff, but this one calls for 15 Oreos. This isn't as satisfying as I thought it was gonna be. So now that we have the crushed Oreos, vanilla pudding, and chocolate pudding, it is time to mix a lot of this together in a larger bowl. So mixing in all of the Oreos now. So now that that's mixed in, I'm gonna mix this in. Yep. So now let's carefully fold all of that in. Okay, now that I have all of the gray stuff in a bowl, it is time to put it in this piping bag. Now, why am I doing this? Why not just eat it out of the bowl? Well, this is all about presentation. So I'm just taking this out if I can. Wow, seriously? Ugh. I am just using this classic piping tip. This is just gonna give it like a nice pretty swirl. Super excited for that. And then we will add another little finishing touch. And I love this because I'm just surprising myself with this one. Like this is just for me. Let's just scoop this stuff in here. Bloop, bloop. It smells so good though. So I'm just gonna kind of swirl it out and slowly build it up and see how much of like a actual swirl we can get. Now to cuten this up just a little bit, I got these little pearls to kind of like boop, throw in this blob. I'm ready 
to eat this. It is time for the grand finale, the gray stuff. Wow, I've always wanted to do this. So here we have the gray stuff. Let's have a look. Ooh, ah, I wanna eat it. Oh, okay, but here we go. This is so good. Oh my gosh, I like can't even, wow. Truly do not have the words, like this is so good. Now I get why Belle stayed. She stayed for the great stuff. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video full of Disney themed foods. I'm really happy that I got to make my coworkers day just a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna enjoy this and probably finish the bowl, but I will see you guys next time. Mm.